Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here and welcome back to the next video in the Black Ops 3 mod tool series. So in this video, we're going to be actually opening up Radiant and having a look around. So once you've got your launcher open, you can go and select your map and you can right click and open Radiant. Wait for this to load up. There we go. Right, so. So. You see, first of all, you see the lighting is a bit weird. I will sort that out in a second. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is just move over to my other screen. And you'll see it switches. So, you will see me doing this throughout the entire series. This is on two monitors, okay? Um, just because like, this is literally the work setup I use um, for my normal maps. Now, you will notice that in the launcher, I've only got these two maps. That's purely because I've, I've um, very recently I've done a complete reinstall of the tools pretty much ready for this series um so i can start from scratch now i do have all my stuff still i, I have made a absolutely massive backup um uh, containing everything so i can still reference um, my previous work um, i just wanted to start from scratch you know to have a nice clean install um that's pretty much it so here's radium it's nice um, when you first get the tools, I can't remember exactly what it looks like, this screen, when you first get it, but I know it is all on one monitor and things are a little bit cramped together. So, first of all, how do we customize this to be, you know, how I've got it or, you know, how you like it? So, first thing you'll notice is we can move elements around. So, let's just do a quick test. So, let's say this camera, I didn't want this camera like this. I wanted... It's all tabbed by the way as well, so it's quite nice to use. Well, let's say I wanted the output to be down here along the bottom, okay? Let's do that. I can select the tab, I can drag it, I can put it on the bottom, and I can resize it. The entire layout is completely configurable, so I don't like that. Let's put it back up. I'll put it back up there, okay? The entire layout, this all the UI, is completely configurable. So the reason why I have it like this is I can still see my 2D grid view whilst I'm looking at my 3D. You know, as the, they are literally next to each other. I can also look at my entity stuff whilst I'm in 3D. So whilst I'm clicking on things, like let's say I'm clicking on a perk here, I don't need to be looking at my 2D grid view to edit any of the properties. I want it, you know, side by side. So I've got it all set up basically to make my workflow as fast as possible um, and you know how I like it so you know have a bit of a mess about with all your tabs see how you want to do things now of course you know let's say you don't have a tab here but you want to have a new tab if you go to your top bar up here and just right click in a blank space these are all the tabs that you can have these are all your windows so I don't have an absolute ton of them open I only have open what I actually use commonly purely because there's no need to have everything open. So typically your camera, your grid view, and probably like your models and textures are going to be open. So all you need to do is literally just click on it. So let's say I, let's take out entity info and we'll add it back. So I don't have entity info here. I can right click, find entity info, there it is. And just put it back to where, it, oh, that's done that, I don't like that. Just put it back to where it was. There we go. So have a bit of a mess about, get the user interface as you want it, and then you can crack on now to do what we're about to do. So into the 3D view. This is where you're gonna spend in most of your time. It most of your time is gonna be in the 3D view and in the 2D view over here. So a bit of an overview of the 3D view, and then we'll move over to 2D. Um and then we'll basically we'll, we'll just drag and drop a few things in then, just so we can get a bit of a you know, get a bit of a feel of it. So First thing you notice is the lighting is a bit weird. It has, you know, looks good in some areas and then some things are just black. A bit weird. So I'm going to just, one second, do that. Looks completely different now. What I just did there was I switched my lighting mode. So if you want to view your lighting in, well, basically fake lighting so it's, you can see everything perfectly, this is the mode you need to be in. If you then want to switch over to real time lighting, all you need to do is press F8. So it's F7 to go to normal and F8 to go to actual built lighting. So let's say I want to build this lighting. So at the moment it's not built, it's clearly set up here unbuilt. 
and then you can select the quality of my lighting and if you don't have this by the way um, on your camera so if you get camera you can have all these selected here okay so you got select on that again camera view exposure is gone now so that's all your lighting stuff so you go right click and there we go exposure so you basically just right click and enable what you need typically exposure and camera view is going to be the two things you need um, I don't think I've ever used render to be fair um, I'm sure I'll use it at some point so here's this so I'm going to just compile my lighting so I'm going to obviously be in real time lighting mode and I'm going to click on low because it's only a small map. There's no need to do anything, you know, excessive. I'm going to just click on this, and it's going to compile my lighting. So you can see this wall, which was originally black, has now been well lit properly, as you'd expect. Now that's a really, really basic overview of lighting. You know, you can change things. Of course, if you change anything in Nature Map, you need to rebuild it again. This is basically the same as you would do in Launcher, um, except it kind of doesn't stick it's more just temporary lighting so when you exit you can choose to export what you've just built you know based on lighting um but this is obviously is much more better you know instead of you having to close the tools do it in launch and then reopen them this lets you do it just you know instantly um now just be aware that of course let's say you've had a massive map a very large and almost finished map and you did it it will take a bit of time down here you'll see the progress of it just along here um just wait be patient and just wait for it to complete and um, that's really all there is to it so next thing we need to look at um, is movement really so we've, we've done a bit of lighting now we wanted to move around this view so the easiest way I can possibly describe it is it's all down to control shift and your mouse button that is more or less it so if we want to move left and right so rotate left and right you could hold down your right mouse button and move left and right so that's moving so that's all that's all down to your right mouse button now if you want to move forwards and backwards it's still your right mouse button but it's forwards and backwards okay so left right forwards and backwards you're basically dragging with your right mouse button there okay now um i will get into the left mouse button in a second but i want to just do basic movement so what happens if you want to look up so you want to do this and look down you know you know just have a bit more of a free look um, now bear in mind you can't move side to side with this so as using like this we can pretty much move anywhere we want what happens if we just want to literally effectively look up and down but not move our actual position so you see here I can move my actual position okay but what happens if we don't want to do that so to do that you go hold down control and shift and then you go use your right mouse button again exact same way you did it but now you can look up and down okay so have a bit of a play about with that so without without holding control and shift you can move around like this with holding control and shift and your else and your right mouse button you can actually almost move your head around if you will so that's basically you know just basic movement now what happens if we want to move up and down you know what happens if we want to do this okay this is by the exact same but now we're only using control so control with right mouse button is up down left and right okay so you can see we can't rotate ahead you know look around as such but we can just move our position okay so once you get quite fluid at it you can move around in circles you can move up and down um, you can go all the way around so that really just just you know takes a bit of practice um, using your control shift and your right mouse button so that's pretty much your movement system um there's a little bit more to it than that um you know you know there's a few tips and tricks but that's your base overview so what happens if we actually want to be you know selecting things now um this is actually the final part by the way of the 3d grid view the selecting part so this is now is where your left mouse button comes in so let's say we want to select a face of this wall so you know just a standard brush you're going to do shift and left click that will select an entire thing so shift left click on there shift left click on there can even do you know all these all these perks that is going to select the entire thing okay now let's say we didn't want to select the entire thing we just wanted to select you know individual faces of things 
um, you're pretty much only going to do the control and shift. I'm, I'm actually having to look at my keyboard as I'm doing this because I do all this without looking at my keyboard so it, I have to almost remind myself what button it is. Um, so it's control shift left click does individual faces. Okay, now of course this won't work on you know models and entities. This is purely just in terms of texturing, stuff like that. Okay, so that's how to texture things. So you know you go do Control Shift Left Click, and you can select different things wherever you want. That's how to do all that. Now next, let's go over to our two D grid view. So now we're actually going to be drawing a wall. For this, I'm literally going to be making a square with a texture on. Okay, nothing complicated at all just so we can get into you know actually building things and then I'll probably stick out and maybe put a lamp on top of it okay so over in your 2d grid view is it, why is it not switched one moment my scene switch has just stopped there we go so let's say we wanted to draw a wall so over in your 2d grid view You'll have your le left mouse button is to actually make things, and right right mouse right mouse button is to move things. So, holding down right mouse button, you can move around your grid. Okay. Using your zoom wheel, you can zoom in and out. And using either your numbers on your keyboard, or you can go up to grid and grid sizes. Okay, you can select. So you can choose how big your grid is. So right now you can see it's not particularly huge. Let's say we want to go to grid, grid size and go to grid 16. Go back, you can now see the grids change the size. Um, I don't know how well you can see this on the video. Uh, let me just try a really small grid. You can see, right, so now you can see we can go into a really, really fine grid view, okay? That's basically how, you know, how much detail you really want to put into things. You can see here, it shows you which numbers to be using as well. Don't worry, as we're making things, I will be showing, you know, I will be explaining a bit more, you know, like when we're actually getting into creating the map itself, I'll be saying these shortcuts again, um, just so you can guys can remember them. And then of course, once we got a bit more used to it, I'll just, you know, I'll just be getting on with things and not going as slow. There's just a lot to cover when it comes to this. So let's actually build a wall. So you can see at the moment, we are looking down on the map. Let's create a, just create a, a big block. Just do that, you know, whatever you want. That's literally just left mouse button and dragging okay let's go create that now let's see how, what this actually looks like in 3d view so it looks like this okay let's make this a bit shorter so a bit more down to here so over at 2d grid we're going to do control on tab that's going to change our view control tab again we'll change our view again and control tab again will bring us back to the top view so it's top front and side top front and side as you can see up there that's basically how you're going to be viewing it. So that is control on tab, okay? Now to do control tab, you do not have to have anything selected. This is literally just how you're seeing things in your 2D grid view. So now let's lower the height of this. So to do this, I'm gonna have it selected. If it wasn't selected, I'd do shift left click to select the entire thing. I'm going to my 2D grid view and I'm simply just going to do left mouse click to drag it. No, no other buttons required, just a left mouse click and you can drag it however you like and create whatever you want. So for this, I'm going to zoom in using my mouse wheel. I'm going to drag it down by left clicking. I'm going to drag it down to about this height. So about, you know, about just under the height of a pack a punch, which is over there. And it's also shown by this blue um, box here. I just move it out of the way of that. Now I'm going to change my grid view by doing control on tab. And I'm just going to basically put it in the center of the grid like that, okay? So now we have this box. Now, I don't like the texture on this, it's not textured, so I'm going to go up to my textures window. Now, to do this, as I said, you can right click and you can select whichever one you want. Mine's textures here, and I'm simply just going to give it, let's go for brick. So type in the word brick, we'll click on it all, so we'll filter that all, all the textures that we have to use. Wait for some of them to load in, there's a lot of them. Let's just go for this one, the first one, that, you know, first decent one I can see. I'm just going to double click on that. Wait for it to uh, not freeze. It did freeze there for a second, I don't know why. It's probably because it's a completely clean install, so it's not loaded anything in yet. It's literally the first thing I've done. I've not even done anything in Radiant yet. So, see now we've got a textured square. Now, 
what happens if we want to make one side of this brick and let's say the other side just you know the top maybe just crunk, you know just concrete so to do this we're going to go into our uh 3d grid view we're going to do control and shift and we're going to do left click go select one face we can select more than one if you want but i just want the top one now i'm going to go and give it a concrete texture so back in my textures i'm going to go for concrete wait for something to actually load in i'm going to give it a bit i'm going to give it a bit more time this time eventually it will load in <laughs> of course when you when you go back to looking at these they won't take as long it's just because you know first time looking at it you know, it's got it's got to load everything in so i'm going to do basic concrete wall i'm going to texture that with that so you can see well we have everything textured so now i'm going to deselect everything by using escape of course you can just deselect it and it'll deselect everything but i, I like to use escape to make sure that i've not got anything else selected by accident so now we've got a big block of literally just brick and a bit of concrete let's actually put in a model into the map now now the reason why i'm doing a model right now is because when i was originally going to be introducing models um i figured it would be a lot easier to get you guys a bit more used to them straight away because you'll be using them a lot okay so to use a model so that, that's that this is what's known as a brush okay a brush is basically a block um, of course you can shape it however you like so let's go to the model tab and i'm just going to get let's go for a lamp search for a lamp get everything not all in use because you don't have one in use yet so let's just get a standard lamp just get this one of course you can scroll through them as you wish so i'm all i'm going to do to put this into the map is now remember i'm on two screens so it looks like i'm going off the screen i'm actually just switching screens okay so i'm going to hold this the selected lamp and i'm going to drag over to my 3d view and just place now you can see we have a lamp quite simple we have a lamp okay now that's pretty much the basics of that that's how to add a model in so you go use your model tab search for it and then literally drag and drop to where you want it now i will be going over a bit more in depth of you know scaling how to rotate things like that when we actually get to it but i'm going to be going over everything as we actually use things okay just so i don't want to introduce things too soon um because you know these videos are already going to be quite lengthy as they are because i'm going to go into you know pretty excessive detail to you know to start with because i've you know i appreciate you know there'll be a few people here that are completely new to all this so now we have this model now as you can see we're viewing things in good lighting mode um but what happens if we don't you know if we want to view things as it would actually look like in game for example in game you wouldn't see this blue square around your model right you wouldn't see these red entities um all over these models and you wouldn't see these white things here which are actually lights these are these are to do with your lighting so to do this all you go to do is click f9 f9 is game view you can see up here you got game view now f9 is pretty much as you would see in game okay so you can see everything looks like you would expect it to look in game we can then disable game view go back to normal mode by pressing f9 again and of course we can go into fake lighting mode which is f7 so just you know just gotta play about with things get yourself used to it and before you know it you'll you know you'll be pretty fluid with things um if it helps i've been using these tools for about four years now before this i was in the wood at war tools so you know you're talking at least five or six years there um if you have used the wood at war tools the movements are very very similar okay so you will have you know you will have very much difficulty um move, moving over if you are new though just give it a bit of time and you do get you know you do get pretty used to it it didn't take me that long it probably only took me you know a couple goes in radiant before i was getting a bit more comfortable in it um so it shouldn't take too long hopefully so that's how to do all that that's how to basically look at all your lighting um, a bit of a model overview and how to texture things um, really really basic stuff there but that's going to be a pretty good point to end it on there because the next video we're going to be making the first few rooms and pretty much making the building that we're going to be starting with pretty basic shape but we're going to be starting with that and learning a few new techniques on how to handle brushes so if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below i do appreciate these videos are quite lengthy and um, there will be to start with um just because i want to cover absolutely everything so you know 
provided you've watched the entire thing. Hopefully you don't have any questions. But of course, if you do, I'd be more than happy to, you know, help in the comments. So thanks for watching this, guys. And I'll see you guys over in the next video where we'll be making our first few rooms. Um, see you guys later.